Hello, everybody. My name is Kimberly Reese, and this is my daughter, Kalayla Reese. Say hi. Hi. And we are doing this video on behalf of Joy Nichols. Joy Nichols uh, is probably one of the most awesome women I've ever met. And I say that seriously. Joy was Kalayla's uh, teacher in elementary school for three years. And uh, we're going to talk about some of the things that Joy did. I thought that was very impactful to uh, Kalela and our family. To give you some background, Kalela was born a preemie. She was born a little over a pound at birth. Uh, Kalela has been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, sensory process processing disorder, and intermittent explosive disorder. So there's a lot going on. And she's also been diagnosed with preemie syndrome. Preemie syndrome means she had some physical ailments as well that she eventually kind of grew out of and still have a few things. Um, she had um, a lung disease, skin disease, eye disease, um, a lot going on. And um, she had some surgeries as a preemie, uh, but she's doing well. She's fought through that. And thanks to teachers like um, Mrs. Nichols, we have had an experience in number one, trying to navigate through uh, different processes. Now, let me tell you this. I'm a mother of five special needs children. Four of them on the spectrum. One has a congenital heart defect. So I'm very familiar and very learned in the area of IEPs and what they mean and how they help uh, an individual child. What Joy has done, she's put a twist on it. Joy invited other children to be a part of my daughter's IEP process. And she um, was able to express herself and talk about her uh, strengths and goals and things she enjoys. And the kids also wrote letters to Kalayla about what they love about her and some of the great things that she does. So basically what it did was it didn't just put all the focus on the hard things that we have to deal with, you know, in an IEP. You know, of course, there are things that are challenges, which is why a child's on an IEP in the first place. Um, but not just to focus on that, but to focus on the other things, the positive things, the strengths that a child has. So Kalayla, tell me how you felt about being um in, uh, as a part of your IEP process and having your friends to be a part of that. Really good. It felt was, good. Yeah. Yeah. So how'd you feel when you were able to talk about you and the things that you like? Same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how'd you feel about having your friends to be a part of that? Felt special a bit. Felt special. Mm -hmm. So I would say special is the word. And again, Joy Nichols has done this. I don't know if I've never had any other teachers do this before. My oldest is 36. My uh, kids range from 36 to 12. And uh, three of them have been on IEPs. And this has never happened before. So um, it was new. It was great. I thought it was a great process uh, for Kalela and for me as a parent. Um, to, of course, we navigate through the IEP process. It can be a bit, you know, challenging just alone. However, I think adding the child, having the child be a part of the process, having the child feel like they have some sort of power. And um, I think it really helped her self-esteem as well. I think it made her feel really good about herself, right? Right. So as she chews cereal, uh, we love you, Joy. Thank you so much for being a part of our lives. I don't think that I could have done what I've done. And you know this without you. And uh, during this process, although I've had other kids that have been through the process, this was a whole new uh, a thing for me. You know, having another child on an IP with a whole different diagnosis, uh, with multiple diagnoses. So, so again, thank you for what you do. For those of you who are listening to this, um, you're talking to a seasoned mom. You, you, I'm a seasoned mom who's been through the process quite a bit. Um, but when this came about and when Joy introduced this, it was like a breath of fresh air. So I hope that you learn from this, that maybe you can in introduce this to your programming and with your families that you work with in your school districts. So again, thank you so much for listening. Thank you all. Say bye. Bye. Joy, we love you and we miss you. Thank you so much.